In today's video, can we wrap up this mess in the north? Highly unlikely, but we need to push the Adrissians back. Can it be done? And can we hold off the tide of Seleucid forces that are just flooding into this region? Stay tuned to find out. Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our Epirus campaign in RTR Imperium. So Rectum, we have this massive mess in the north that I'm not a big fan of, I've got to say. But we are pushing very well against the Antigonids. I genuinely feel like at this point we won't need to retrain any of these troops before we've taken them out. I think we're going to be good over here. We have a new General Big Anchises over here with his singular command, which is great. But we have a few battles to do going forward. First of all, we need to get rid of Captain Antiochus. Great name, by the way. And we also need to take Athens. I am going to leave this guy here for one more turn before we attack these Thracians. I really just don't want to attack this army. Because <laughs> that's going to be hellish to fight that army. So uh, let's go for the Siege of Athens, though, guys. Let's get into the battle here. It shouldn't be too bad. They have some Athenian hoplites and some Thuriophori, plus two generals, which is a little bit scary. But I think we'll be fine with the troops that we currently have. So let's get into the battle, guys. Let's see how we do. So they are defending the walls quite heavily with two 304 units up there. Hopefully, though, we can... I don't think we can push them back with what we have. Um, <laughs> but hopefully we can hold them there long enough to open the gates with some of our Athamanians over here. Some of our guys over this way, too. I mean, ultimately, it's not that far to go to get to that gate either. So I'm hoping we can at least do something. These guys are going to get absolutely destroyed, though, as you can see. Pretty unfortunate, but there's just not much we can do about that. Um, we need to hold them in place up here anyway, so we might be looking for some more 304 units after the siege. <laughs> we shall see, guys. So, yeah, that uh, that unit did get utterly, utterly destroyed, so uh, <laughs> we have managed to come quickly and take the, la take the walls, though, for a second, so... Not sure whether to rush through right now or wait slightly. Um, but I guess we'll find out. They are going to be being shot by all of these towers um, in the meantime, which is excellent for us. So these guys are going to get shot. Very good. You guys should probably uh, run away. <laughs> that would be my uh, recommendation, guys. If you can run, please, maybe. Can you go, guys, maybe? That would be good. Go. There we go. Okay, that's uh, that's brought them into action. Looks like they haven't decided to protect the uh, <laughs> protect the gates at all, which is uh, a bit insane, but pretty darn good for us. I'm not gonna lie. So we are gonna come up close. These 304 are just so damaged that is it worth using them? Not really. And like I say, we want to sustain this army for a little while. Are you guys like. These guys are a little bit upset on the walls, aren't they? They're not enjoying it. There we go. Go on, fire, guys. Fire away. <laughs> fire away, boys. There we go. So we are going to use the... Uh, ho uh, not the hoplites. The uh, phalangites on the walls. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be... Not on the walls, in the city. But that's going to be a little bit annoying. But overall, it's not going to be too bad. We don't have that far to fight and that many troops to fight. But, um, yeah, we should be fine. So, fortunately, we've managed to uh, get through the walls before this unit's turned around and retaken the walls. I have no idea what just happened then. But I'm hoping we can break this guy straight away with a cheeky little uh, little charge. Looks like we have. Good. So, let's get uh, off that mode for now. With the cav, what do we want to do? That's the question. Is there anyone around here that is mildly interesting to us? Not really. Actually, I think the Cavs, the best option is to go all the way through that way. Let's get them out of this area. Get away, Cav. Get away. And we're going to have to... Come on, guys. Get going. Get going. Get moving. I know they're pretty messed up. But what we're going to do, we're going to turn around one of these units. And they're going to stand there. And they're going to attack whoever comes out of the uh, of the tower there. going to try and block it off completely. 
But it looks like the towers are now theirs, which is a little bit annoying. So those two guys, let's group you separately. And then the rest of you, it's time for you to start coming around this way if we can. Don't mind the formation or whatever you do, but let's come around. Don't need to worry about these guys. They're going to get, get a little bit of damage from the shots that they take. But overall, it's probably going to be worth it. We're going to hold all these guys at the line. And they're not going to be able to do anything. Let's see if we can move forward slightly to there. You guys should be in position now and ready to fight. Yeah, that shouldn't allow them out now, which is great. What are the Cav doing? Well, it looks like one unit has managed to get all the way over here. But no one else. <laughs> okay. <laughs> great. Uh, really hard to like get these guys actually maneuvered inside the city. There we go. That's better. We've got to go with two different uh, little lines there. And the rest of you boys. How are we getting shot? These towers should all be ours. Okay, look at that. That is perfect. If you guys can just... No, just stand like... There? That will stop them firing at us. They will retake the gateway though. That's not a problem for us though. You guys don't really need you. That's fine. What is this? That is a hoplite unit. Don't think we need to be too scared of them. You guys are fine. We'll leave you there. There's only 15 of you. No point in uh, messing around too much. So what is this? Is this the general? Let's try and uh, go and face the general then. If he wants to. If, I mean, they've got two generals, haven't they? But let's try and get in position for them. What is going on here, bro? I mean, is this like... like we can go after the general here too. So we might as well. I mean, they're so spread out. Some of the generals over here as well. That makes no sense. But if we can get a guy there, and then we'll get the second guy here, that would be excellent. So let's see if we can get there in time. Probably unlikely. But uh, how is this going? Yeah, our guys are also really struggling here. Come on, attack them. Attack, guys, attack. They're really struggling to do anything here. Come on, boys. Come on, you can you can do it, guys. You can do it. Let's get these guys on their phalanx mode. Same with you. Missed that slightly, but it's okay. There we go. They have been charged, but that's okay. Looks like the Thurio 4 is coming round too. No problem. Let's kill this general, please. There we go, guys. They now know what they want to do. So we've killed a general. That's very good. Here comes a Thurio Foroy. Let's uh, quickly try and re-move. These guys there. These guys there. Let's try and bait them. Come on, Thurio Foroy. We want to fully surround that unit, of course. Where did that hoplite go? That was over this way. Oh, it went all the way there. Bro, what are you doing, man? Can you, like, move, guys? Like, that would be good. Let's go like that. Let's hope they don't do anything stupid by doing that. Right, guys. Into the town square. Here we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That's another general dead. Fantastic. There we go. In there, boys. In there. You guys attack too. That's it. That's it. That's what we like to see, boys. Uh, yeah. Phalanx down, please. <laughs> Keep that phalanx down. And we should absolutely shred those boys now. These guys are really struggling. Come on, Cav. I know you I know you can do this. I know you can do this. Come on, Cav. You can do it. <laughs> you can do it. How are we doing over here? Oh, we've just absolutely shredded those boys with hardly any losses. And that 304 is just chilling on the walls. I mean, that's good for us, right? Uh, what are you idiots doing, honestly? You imbeciles, right? Go there. The rest of you that have managed to do that, well done. And now we have the kill box over here too. Absolutely destroyed that unit. Very nice indeed. Well, what I think you should do then is to chase that unit down. And then you three, let's get you off phalanx mode. Let's get you up there. If you will actually be able to go as well, that's the question. And you guys get around here. Go, 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 guys. Come on. Come on. What are they doing? You guys both attack there. Have we attacked? Yes, we have attacked 
this unit. I'm willing to just chill here, though. That is our tower, so that's not too bad. Yeah, you guys can go and chill on there. You guys can now do the same by actually coming the right way. Uh, and we're going to get our phalanx up there. Well, a glorious victory very soon, guys. Three minutes. Well, it's actually not going to be three minutes because these guys have actually managed to get all the way back to the town square. So we're going to have to charge them, try and get a phalanx in position while we charge them. So let's go. It's not going to be a good charge. We didn't even kill anyone, honestly. <laughs> Great. But hopefully it will stop them from, uh, you know, uh, taking the town square. Getting onto the town square. You guys get there ASAP. How are we doing? We killed one man. Great. The great and glorious Thessalian cavalry strikes once again, my friends. Once again. <laughs> this Therapiori is just chilling like, nah. Nah, probably not. That's not, that's not the one for me, boys. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, do we just hold them with the cav? I mean, that would be a good option. But uh, no, let's speed this up. Let's get you guys there. And let's uh, let's just bring the cav out of there now. They don't need to be in there. Let's go. There we go. Now we can stop them coming in. Fantastic. Glorious victory, my friends. Easy victory. Very nice. The AI doing some very strange things there. I'm not going to lie. But Athens, the glorious city of Athens is now ours. There we go. Athens is not dead. It's, it was already dead-ish, but it's now ours. Um, now, with Athens, it's probably not a good idea to occupy. I think we are going to enslave. Not going to massacre them just yet. But, um, yeah, let's have a look. What do we have in here? We've got plenty, plenty of buildings. Very nice indeed. I'm assuming these are the temples. Yeah, that we can't actually see. Um, <laughs> so, oh well. Uh, they do have an agent in there. Now, who do we think is the best option here? Let's auto-sort these boys. I mean, I think we can leave behind a Thurio 4. I mean, these are not that important to our army, are they? And that is plenty. Knock you out the way. And then we can go after them with that unit. These boys, is there anyone in here that's not that useful? I mean, the Greek archers, not amazing. We've got more Thurio Foroi. But I'm kind of willing to get a mercenary here just to... Oh, well, I guess no mercenaries available. <laughs> ah, well, uh, I mean, you could go into there instead, couldn't you? I mean, we could just leave the Greek archers. That's, that's probably the best option. Uh, we are repairing everything at Tanagra. Let's leave behind that Greek archer. Right, what do we want to do next then? Do we want to go on to Euboia or Evia? Or do we want to keep on pushing against these guys? I mean, this army needs retraining. Um, <laughs> at some point. Well, I think, you know, Pyrrhus has this all wrapped up. He needs to take these two. We've got this secondary army coming around this way. So, yeah, I think that's going to take care of that. So, I think one of you needs to go to you, Bowia. Let's go with you, then. Let's go for Chalkis, but we can actually siege down two at the same time. So, let's take half of the army with um, Pyros. Another Pyros, of course. Apparently, you cannot attack. Okay, there you go. That's perfect. And then we'll take half with Alexander. And... The reason I think that that slightly reduced is they've got this random ambushing army there, which is just absolutely pointless. Ah, oh, let's see. 222. I don't want to fight rebels anymore, guys. <laughs> Wait, actually, cancel that. Cancel that. Can we do a draw-out battle? We can. Ooh. That's very spicy. I mean, it's kind of pointless, but if we can do it, because surely this, this army's going to withdraw, surely, but let's get on there, let's see if we can force them to not withdraw, I doubt they will ever not withdraw from this, but let's see anyway guys, let's get into it. So here we go guys, for some reason these guys are coming in like right from over here. I'm going to try and get my guys away from them as far as possible. In fact, no. 
Get off the battle map, guys. Those are all the damaged boys. So we're going to try and get them off the battle map. There's no chance they don't retreat. Surely not. I mean, they're coming in right behind us, though. So I am kind of like... Let's turn three of these boys around to at least fight them. No, that's two. Maybe four. We don't need all of these boys, do we? So turn around, boys. And then that's you guys in a separate group. You guys, get your phalanx down. Let's slightly move forward if we can. And I mean, the main thing is just breaking these guys by killing the general. Whether we can do that or not, I have no idea. Surely these guys are going to retreat. I mean, this is the guy from the city, so we want to kill him mainly. Don't really bother about killing these guys. These are just sort of random offshoots of the uh, Macedonian mess that is uh, their military strategy <laughs> down here. There we go. He's running away. He's not even died. Well, that's annoying. Can we not get him? There he is. Can't believe he's run away. Well, that's really annoying. These guys are surely going to withdraw. Come on. Well, I don't know. They might not withdraw. The Cretan Hoplites are a very good unit. They're trying to, like, run through our guys. Look. What are they doing, bro? You guys turn. You guys turn. Look at them. They are trying to run through. I don't know. Oh, here comes the general again. That's actually good for us because we want him to die. <laughs> if we can surround him, that would be amazing. Let's rally uh, Lord Pyros. There we go. Broken both of them. Let's kill the general. That's the main thing. Kill the goddamn general, bro. Kill the goddamn general. Now, let's see what these guys do. No, they're not running away. Very strange. Very strange. Good for us. Oh, look. More javelins are coming in. Do we think we can chase them down? Who's at the front here? You guys go there. And see if you can. Maybe we've got some more stamina than them. But I very, very much doubt it. You group yourself up by yourself. And, uh, yeah, let's let's come and have a go if you think you're hard enough, mate. Come and have a go. And let's go. Where's the other unit? They're just in here dying. <laughs> good. Good, 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 good. And, I, you know, this general, I think he's safe, unfortunately. But we need to kill the other general then. He's not died. So that's very annoying, but... Oh, well. Not much you can do, really. Let's speed this up. Let's see. Uh, there they go. That is a monster bodyguard. I don't know. Is that their... Uh, is that their uh, king? The Antigonid king. Aminias. He's a meanie. Everybody knows he's a meanie. Let's go. This time, he's on the left-hand side. Surely we're going to kill him now. And there goes the Macedonian hoplites. Nowhere near as hard as the Peloponnesian hoplites. There we go. Javelins coming in from all sides. We love it. We love to see it. There we go. Broken him. Got to kill him, though. Not bothered about the hoplites doing any damage. What I want to do is just kill... I mean, that is their king. Glorious. Glorious. It's what we like to see. Well, that guy's escaped, so he's probably going to take up residence in the city. But a glorious little victory nonetheless, my friends. Well, there we go, guys. One survivor for Aminias, their new king. Yeah, wasn't king for very long, was he? Asphalion as well, 10 dead. Glorious little victory, my friends. Glorious little victory. I will see you back on the campaign map. And as expected, he did retreat inside Thebes. And unfortunately, we are stuck by Thebes. So, we're going to have to... Ooh, a Macedonian aristocrat. More influence, more command when commanding cavalry, and plus one command when fighting Greeks. That's excellent. Now, they don't have any rams for Megara or anything yet, so I don't think Leonatos is um, at risk at this point, but I think they are fine. So, let's press the end turn, guys. The first end turn of the day, we've already taken another city in Athens, which is glorious, and nearly taken... Thebes, um, and then this is all they have left, guys. The six settlements that they have left. Maybe they'll get to seven, but uh, I doubt it. We shall see. <laughs> glorious, glorious, glorious. Let's go. Well, this is highly unusual. The uh, the army that was by the Odrysians over here, as you can see, has not been attacked by the Odrysians, but attacked instead by the goddamn Seleucids. Now. 
Let's have a look. They have some thorough kits either as scary. Yes, very scary units. Glad we managed to take some out in the siege battle, though. A lot of Halkaspides or Chalkaspides. Uh, we don't have that much. We do have a good cavalry advantage, and of course, they have no general. So if we can kill this guy, we should be okay. And we get to defend, which we've not really had a defensive battle with Phalangites for a while. Well, apart from last episode, that uh, the siege battle, but apart from that, let's go. So we've already turned 90 degrees from where the AI started. Uh, but here they come. They finally decided that they can actually go forward towards us rather than just trying to surround us in a big circle. So that's good at least. <laughs> but here we go. What do we have? Asian cavalry? Not a great unit. I mean, they've got the Thorakitai in the front line. That's fine. Well, what I want to do with my archers especially is fire at the uh, fire at the cav. Because as we know, incredibly annoying missile cav. And they have more missile cav on that side. Hopefully we can uh, absolutely shred them with our archers. They're just trying to flank us with all their slingers and stuff. That It's just pointless. What are you doing, AI? You idiots, honestly. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> like... Like, look at this. They're just trying to go, like, really to the right flank. It makes no sense. Just fucking charge, bro. You, you would get better results if you just charged. Like, literally. It's so dumb. <laughs> just fucking charge. That would be better for you. Right, let's get these guys forward. We'll leave the archers where they are. Yeah, they're, they're getting chased off. That's fine. So let's come in behind. See, so watch this Thorakitai. Like, they're not going to try and engage us. They're just going to... Yeah, yeah, there we go. Just run away. That's fine. You guys stay there. And we have these guys now coming in. So hopefully uh, we can fire some jabbies or something at them. Look at these idiots. Oh, God. <laughs> Looks like they're going for the charge. Nope, they're not. They're just being fucking annoying. <laughs> I hate them so much. God. It's not a thing I hate more than missile cavalry in this. Like, what are they doing, bro? Like, what is this? What is this? Do you want me to hug box? Because I will. Because we are defending. I don't care. There we go. We can probably catch him now. Yeah, go on. You're going to tip him. You're going to touch him. Just touch him. All we need someone is to just touch them. Just touch them, for God's sake. There we go. Caught them. Good. That should kill them. But they likely will come back. They likely will come back. Which is even more annoying. There we go. Phalanx versus Thorakitai. Hopefully we win. Not holding out too much hope though. You guys get engaged in that. There we go. We've broken those boys. Like without their, without a general though. They're really, really struggling for morale. Look. Pretty much breaking straight away. There goes another Thorakitai. And here comes our last Thorakitai. I mean, these guys should probably just turn that way. That's fine. What are these archers now doing? I want you to fire at the Cav. Oh, hello, Cav. That is a Zistafora unit as well. Oh, I thought it was a uh, another crappy missile Cav. And we didn't kill anyone in that charge. But they're intimidated by nearby enemy. Well, who is that? <laughs> what unit do we have that is intimidating? Oh, see them come back from the fight there, the mercenary Asian cab. Great, that's what we like to see. But there goes the Zistaforoi. Right? Let's charge in the back of here. That should break this other cav. Should be a decent charge as well. How does the Thorakitai? Yeah, they're broken. They're fully broken. Nice. Fleeing in panic, oblivious to the world. Good, 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 good. That's what we like to see. And now the Chalk Speeders decide that the left flank is where they want to go. Interesting. <laughs> when I say interesting, what I mean is incredibly annoying. Um, but yes, that's fine. I don't mind at all. Let's uh, just kill as many Thorakitai because, you know, the less Thorakitai we have to deal with later down the line, the better, honestly. We are going to struggle against their Chalcospedes because charging into them with our Cav never ends well, like we know. Uh, where be the General? Yeah, come on, General. 
Get your move on. Get a move on, my friend. Right, on to here. Let's go. Come on, Cav. I know you're a little bit tired, but that's fine. The Schalke Speed is here. It's going to be a brutal battle with them because they are better than my Deuteroid. And no questions asked. These guys just charged into... There we go. Yeah, the Cav love to come back, but they don't do much when they do. You guys turn to face them as well. This should hopefully break them. They're already shaken, not stirred. Okay, that's, I mean, still just shaken. I was expecting maybe to break both of those units then. That's fine. The Greek Slingers are going for the charge, so we'll uh, we'll meet them in combat, shall we? There goes the Light Spearman. Oh, here we go. This Asian Cavalry is going for the charge. Could break our lines, honestly, because the Deuteroy are so crap. But, uh, yeah, there we go. Right, back into the back of the Thorakitai. Don't worry about that Chalk Speeder. That's like where their general is, but, uh... <laughs> Look at this! Look at this! What are, what are they doing? <laughs> that is insane. <laughs> that is insane. Don't know why they're doing that. What they think the benefit is, but... Whatever. That may allow us some cheeky little maneuvers. Right, you guys come back round. Get there. So, you two now. Why do we have a cavalry unit in involved in that? You two now need to come forwards. We also have you needs to come forwards. Look at them. They're just piling into this area here. <laughs> Imbeciles, bro. Imbeciles. Let's go. <laughs> this is going to be a juicy route when they do route, which they will. Um, I hate all these little units, bro. This is maybe why I should take light cavalry. <laughs> Ah, uh, who cares about light cavalry, bro? You want heavy cavalry. Does all the damage. Let's go. Light cavalry would be nicer, though, just to take out shitty little units like these Greek slingers and stuff. Because they are, as we've seen before, incredibly, incredibly annoying. Um, so, yeah. I mean, they, the thing is, they don't do much damage, so it really doesn't matter that much. You guys just try and walk through. I'm going to get you guys over here. Right, now Holt, and we're going to get you fighting. They have pretty much pushed through this line here. So hopefully they don't turn around and they just keep facing that way. Try and, uh, let's go for a little cheeky charge on the general here. See whether they turn. Looks like it was actually okay of a charge. Hopefully we can break them and then that whole unit will break. Yeah, we've taken a bit of damage there. I'm not going to lie. Not a huge amount of damage, honestly, though. But that's their general dead. That's good. So surely they're going to start breaking now. Let's go and kill that Thorakitai. Let's have a look in there. They're all eager. There's a few shaken boys, though. Not stirred. Right, let's go here. There we go. Yeah, as we can see, their Chalk Speeders are insanely better than our, better than our Deuteroy. <laughs> Uh, you guys, do I want to charge you in? Not really. You guys can charge in, though. I don't mind losing you. You guys come here. And, uh, yeah, Thorakitai's already dead. Good. Right then, let's have a look at what we can do about this. Okay, that unit has... Oh, these guys are going in. No problem. So we have a fat formation there. We've got a Deuteroy at the back there. We're going to have these two... I mean, this Chalka Speedes could, like, genuinely just absolutely crush us. So, I think we want to hold there. Even though they are goddamn, you know, Chalka Speed, Even though there's, like, the general's dead and they've got no morale. They could genuinely just come and just have an absolute party. Look at that. They've absolutely ended this 304 already. Ooh. Like, this, like, triple spear line... I mocked it earlier, but god damn is it effective. <laughs> god damn. Maybe the AI knows strats that I don't. I mean, it's effective, but it's highly <laughs> highly unrealistic, I've got to say. <laughs> not that we not that I've ever really cared for realism too much, so uh, I can't really complain about that. God damn, this is just gonna be annoying, bro. <laughs> this is gonna take forever to break them, but we'll see. Okay, there we go. We've got a couple routing, so that seems... Yes, there we go. They're all routing now. 
Let's uh, all of us just get away. Just get out of there. I want I want them to rout. I don't want them to fight to their death this time. There we go. Perfect, my friend. Perfect. Right. Time to chase them down. A glorious victory, my friends. Well, in the end, a pretty glorious victory for Glorious Ifestionas. You can see General doing a lot of the work. But the Zistaforoi going absolute ham. But some of these Ambrachios did a fantastic job. Look, look at that. Compare that to the Deuteroy who got absolutely slammed. So, yeah. <laughs> Ambrachios definitely a step above the Deuteroy, I've got to say. But anyway, let's get back on the campaign map. And like more lambs to the slaughter, they come again. Um, can we do this? I mean, I don't, I don't know. We don't have much troops. They have some Crisis Speeders, three units of the Crisis Speeders, and a Halka Speeders, and Hetairoi. I think the sensible thing here, guys, is to withdraw. Well, it was the sensible thing. Oh, wow. This is Hugbox territory, my friends. This is what we're going to be doing, I think, for this battle. <laughs> we can't withdraw again. So, yeah, I mean, it's not the greatest. Where are you getting your Thracian Light Lancers from, you fools? They're AOR as well, not mercenary. Where the hell are you getting them from? Like, which of these settlements is Thracian? That's Greek. I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe it is, th has a Thracian colony as well, or maybe that one. I don't know. But this is not going to be fun, so, uh... <laughs> Yeah, let's see, guys. So, yeah, we, we, we really don't have many troops. Luckily, we have this little hill. Um, so we're going to hide our cav behind it. They might actually get hidden reasonably well. But, yeah, we've got so few troops. Um, I'm hoping that because of, like, where we're positioned, they're going to find it really hard to actually flank us. But... You never know with the AI, do you? They, they'll try and flank no matter what, <laughs> even if it's pointless for them. So, I don't know. We'll see. In fact, I might have to split these guys out like this. Just get like that. And protect the flanks properly. There we go. And then the archers, they can stand like right on top of this hill here. They should get a good little view with these boys in the dip. There we go. So, the archers can fire over them. And there's not much else we can do now, guys, apart from just wait for the rest of this army um, <laughs> and see whether we can do something with our cav. But I don't know. Let's see. As you can see, they're still trying to flank, even with this, like, no amount of space on this right-hand flank. And look, they're all coming up this way, which is just stupid. <laughs> like, <sighs> sometimes, bro, sometimes. Let's see if we can, like, push them back slightly from their ridiculous, ridiculous flank. Uh, get the archers up there. That's pretty much on top of the hill. I mean, if we can come down slightly, that would be good. And then the archers will really then be able to, uh, to fire properly. Get these guys. Let's get them down here. And again, we'll protect our flanks. Very good. Very good. Like, what? Like, the AI, this doesn't help you, bro. This just kind of pushes you against the edge of the battle map. So, yeah, I don't know what they're doing. Look at this army as well. You know, if we had a slightly bigger army, we could take advantage of that. But unfortunately, we, we don't. <laughs> Tarantine Cavalry, not really a great target. But there's not that many different targets to that. So, yeah, we'll go for that. Well, here we go, guys. Not sure it's going to be doable, but, I mean, we can find out, can't we? This 304 cavalry, I've got to say, insanely annoying, as usual. Uh... <laughs> well, let's try and uh, trap the bastards, because that is what they are, Miss Alcap. They are absolute bastards. There's, there's nothing else to say, really. Absolute horrible bastards. Horrible, horrible bastards. And we didn't trap them. We didn't trap them. Well, let's not worry about them. We've got plenty more things to worry about. Galatian Warband should not be too scary. If we can kill this general as well, who's just charged the phalanx, as usual. 
That should be pretty darn good. There we go. He died leaping over a phalanx. Fucking idiot. Right, there goes the 304 cavalry deciding that now's the time to charge. I mean, that's good for us. We should absolutely shred them. They are double silver experience, though. Look at the Zistaforoi, though, trying to push through these boys. God damn it. This uh, Deuteroi is going to struggle here. Luckily, one of those units has broken. What is that? The Zistaforoi is just deciding to run rampant, bro. So the cavalry seems to be dealt with, I would say. Have we killed that? We killed the whole unit there. That's actually insane, bro. <laughs> nice. Good. I love to see missile cavalry get killed. Makes me very, very happy. But anyway, let's uh, let's uh, <laughs> let's kill some more of these lucid this lucid menace. I don't think we're going to kill all this army. Looking, but judging by the amount that have just run off the battle map already. Um, but this mess, whatever this mess of light infantry and just shite is, is just not going to be fun to deal with. Um, but anyway, I, I mean, like, we've we've had a good promising start, mainly because the AI is doing this. And just deciding that charging headfirst into a phalanx is the best option. Whoa, that guy was flying, though. This poor Deuteroy is taking a battering. But there we go. That's a Light Lancer again. Hopefully those Light Lancers run away. Here comes another, the Glacian Warband. I'm assuming they routed before. Do you remember when we had those units? <laughs> and they routed as soon as a Javelin touched them. So these guys do not have good morale, as we can see. They charged and ran away. <laughs> I'm not sure that's the point of the charge, guys. You know, I don't, I don't think you run away before you've even reached the enemy. That's not a good charge, if that's the case. Whatever this is, though, is just going to be hellish. Absolutely hellish to deal with. They really like this Deuteroy, don't they? We do have another General's Bodyguard there, though. Right, guys, let's focus on the Horse Archers, definitely. They're the ones who we need to kill. I don't care about any of the rest of these. We can actually catch them. But the Horse Archers are going to be absolute hell to deal with. So let's go kill these bastards. These guys are going for the charge on the Greek Hoplites. That's not going to end well for the Greek Hoplites. But I'm hoping we can uh, surround these boys. Let's go, 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 men, go! Glorious. Here comes their uh, Crisis Speeders, though. Yeah, that Greek Hoplite has uh, taken a battering, but so has the General. Kalas the Mean. Well, let's put an end to your mean ways, sir. And kill you. Not that it's going to make a dent in the Seleucids, to be fair. Oh, they're all withdrawing now, so just go. Just everyone, just go. Everyone, just run. Run, run, cavalry, run. Just through anyone that'll move, anyone that's in the way. Through them all. Straight down the middle there. Straight down the middle. Let's see if we can break them. They've got a long way to, to go. See how many we can kill in the process. Should we get the archers involved in this? We've got these guys involved in this, so maybe... But, uh, yeah, can we get ahead of the curve here? If we can get all the way down here, then we should be able to kill a lot of this army. You guys chase them. General, you chase them. You guys chase them. You guys chase them. And you guys chase them. And then that should be a lot of units being chased. And I can't see because of the goddamn trees. Keep coming, guys. Come on. Come on. Through. Come on, General. Where's that other unit? God damn it. Come on, boys. Speed up, for God's sake. <laughs> Speed up. They're so slow. <laughs> They're not even that tired. They're a little bit tired, to be fair. But yeah, goddamn. But anyway, glorious victory. We managed to hold them off, mainly because the AI was dumb. But uh, we take those victories anyway, guys, don't we? We take them. Well, I was not expecting a result like that, I've got to say. <laughs> but that army may even be fully destroyed now. That that would be amazing. <laughs> Well, Ifestionas, you've definitely earned yourself an extra gold star today, I've got to say. Well done, Ifestionas. Let's get back on the campaign map. There we are. And luckily, no more Seleucid. Uh, <laughs> Seleucid is following us. But that the same can't be said for the Idrisians, I guess. Let's find out. Well, that is two Seleucid stacks absolutely ruined. And the Idrisians have just disappeared. They're just like, nah. We don't want to do, do, deal with this anymore. Oh, no. They've not disappeared. They've decided to block our route back. 
Well, we definitely have to take them out then. That's the problem because this army 100% has to come back. So we're going to pop them there. We will deal with that in a second. But we have to go here first. Thebes, that should be a... Uh, yeah, zero. Good. Let's just occupy Thebes. Minus city, actually, but... Wow, we're not expecting that. Did we destroy all the buildings we needed to destroy? Yes, we did. Tanagra is a large city. Athens is a large city. Glorious. We are suddenly making an absolute fortune. Glorious. Um, let's leave behind that 27 because it's not got experience. Um, how are you? You're happy. Good. We're going to attack them as well. Not the greatest of armies. This army, you are coming round to deal with them. Apparently, they're going to stick it, which just makes no sense. Pontic Pentapolis, we are allied to them, so we can actually move past them. So them being down there in our lands is not too bad for us <laughs> compared to Athens. And we have Euenus, who has come of age. Looks like a Puenus. And yeah, he's good for, um, ga for governing. Although he's not great for um, tax, but he has plus one morale. He's sharp. Hmm. Unreliable. Uncharismatic and vigorous, but he is astute. I think... Well, how are we doing for our recruitment? Let's keep on going. Let's get some more Ambrakiotes. I really want to get to the next level of, um, of, um, city here. Like, come on, Ambrakia, let's go. Also, with Athens and stuff, so Athens... I think we do want to build up Athens as a recruitment hub, because look at these buildings. These two, so I'm going to cue that in. That is just in case we ever go east into the islands or Crete, because we'll have a nice little recruitment hub there. We'll have Leprion too. So yeah, we'll have some good little recruitment options over there, rather than having to come all the way back up to Thessaly, which we don't want to do. So you've got Ambrakiotes recruiting. Uh, let's go for some more Ambrakiotes. Larissa, do we have enough Thessalians? No, we want one more Thessalian. You're recruiting Ambrakiotes. You're up Ambrakiotes. Ambrakia getting Ambrakiotes as usual. Uh, Fenike, let's get Ambrakiotes. And Pella, let's get some Athamanians. Good. We should be ready for another army relatively soon. Despicable treachery. My diplomat <laughs> that I brought to get a ceasefire with the Seleucids. Well, that's rather ironic being bribed by the Seleucids. I guess he found his own sort of ceasefire. <laughs> Leprion now has third tier recruitment now. That's pretty insane, actually. Let's just check our Thracian recruitment hubs to make sure, you know, we're, we're building all the right things. Yeah, blacksmith there. In Stoby, we're getting the cavalry. And over here in Scoopy, we just finished. So we want to build those two, but then we want more Romphophoroi. And then over here, then let's go for more stables, I guess. Not great, but it's it's an option, isn't it? And this Thracian army, like I say, is going to be going into the north to deal with the Thracians. Now, them taking Dardanicon for Econ, the, um, the Scordisci. Not ideal. <sighs> That's not great, because that is right on our border. And that was a nice little border town we had before. There's not a guarantee they'll take it, but looking at their troops, not something we want to deal with, really. But we did have that guy come of age, didn't we? So let's... Uh, let's. I think you can lead the Thracian boys. So we might even have to lead a force, get you a bit of experience, blood you as well, just in the north there. So we've got you moving. You guys will do probably those sieges next turn. Uh, next episode, should I say? Let's do uh, let's do a few bit of building first. So we've not even done any building. It's all been action this episode, hasn't it? So yeah, we've built a lot on the top, but let's see if we can fill this out. So Oricon, you are growing, not amazingly. So I think again, Oricon, like these places, they're just such low fertility that we need Aphrodite. Farsalos, though, you're quite a good little town. Obviously, you're a recruitment hub. So let's start going. Let's start getting you some better stuff like the Agora. 
Lucas over here. Definitely want the academy to get some extra traits for our guy. This guy, eight. That's fantastic. Eight management. Very nice indeed. Uh, Demetrias. Anything worthwhile in Demetrias? You're growing nicely. I mean, the highway is always a good option, but not really anything there that's pressing. How about the dockyard for Dion? All the way up here, Dion, aren't you? Let's see how much that's going to bring. Yeah, that's that's good. <laughs> I'll accept that. For Lana, let's have a look. For Lana, you are not that rich. You're not that important. You're not terribly important to me, uh, for Lana. Uh, Oinidai over here again. Probably not worth building anything there. Imbros is just annoying out here in the ocean. Just really angry all the time. Megara is under siege. That's weird. I could have sworn that this order is normally the order in which you conquer these settlements in. Let's also destroy um, that. Um, but what do we want to build in Megara? Let's just go for that shrine to Aphrodite for now. And Idava over here. Again, not really worth anything. Sophis, again, not worth anything to build. Amphipolis, all the way here in the north. One of our good, really good cities, actually. Let's go. 6,300 Amphipolis is making. Let's make sure that that, that uh, general gets really good traits. Scaptora, it can upgrade. Fantastic. Dimer down here. Hmm. Let's go for the crop rotation. Keep that population growth. Igeon is very, very, uh, growing very quickly. Leprion, we definitely want a shipwright. Olympia, we need to get governors down here when we get the chance. So we are going to start accepting governors again. Megalopolis, let's go for that. Trozan, let's go for the paved roads. Hmm. Where are you, Trozan? You're not very useful. Let's leave that amount of cash in there for now. Because we've got a few battles to do. First battle is going to be our new commander, Anchises. He does have the minus one, minus two morale, actually, for troops. It's not ideal. So it's good to get a sort of um, small battle out of the way with him, I will say. First. So let's go for that. We are waiting on another 304 Roy, but hopefully we can get a mercenary or something sometime soon. So let's get into the battle, guys. So only unfortunate thing about this battle is the fact that they are right on top of a massive hill, which is going to really tire our men out. I wanted to get up there quickly because I want to basically have our men facing towards where the secondary army is coming. Um, so we're going to do that. So we're going to bring these guys slightly backwards. And then we can basically fight both of the armies at once. Hopefully they don't get too sort of close to our lines and go for a charge or anything while we're setting up. Looks like they're not. They're just firing missiles, which is great. As usual. As usual. As usual. Missile cavalry being incredibly fun to deal with. So let's come forward now. Phalanx is down, boys. You guys, let's get you here. 304 Roy. Oh, wait, we've got another 304. Oh, that's the guy coming from the other place. I was going to say, where have they come from? But that's fine. And once again, the, uh, the AI kind of limiting its options by placing itself right on top of this hill. Um, but let's uh, speed that up. Don't need to worry about this too much, do we? Not many men to deal with. Hopefully, we don't have any uh, sort of guys retreating, though. That's the main thing. I do want to get somewhere where we can get good archers. Like, roads, we can get amazing slingers. So, that would be insanely good if we could get roads at some point. Whether roads still exist, though, or not, I don't know. Get there, guys. Look at them going for that, uh, like, flank. If we swing all the way back this way, I can guarantee you they'll all start coming this way. <laughs> There's obsessed with the cav. Look at that, see? That's their uh, that's their phalanx. So let's go. Slightly further forward, boys. You guys get forward too. And Thurio Fori will bring you forwards. Cavalry will probably swing you around to this side now. And let's see what we can do. All we can do really now is just tank some of their shots, really. 
So fight them. You guys fight them. And then the rest of you want you to slowly just march forward. We're going to try and go around the back to fully surround them and just encapsulate this whole army. If we can do that, that would be amazing. There goes the 304 recovery. I think they're on skirmish mode and they're a bit bugged out. Yeah, looks like they are. That's fine, though. Are they going to withdraw? Or not? No, there's Prodromoy. That is their general. If we can, like, fully smash them up here. They've got nowhere to run. They've got nowhere to run. So, here we go. What do we got? Hoplites and more Thurioforoi. That's another Thurioforoi dead. So, you guys come forward. You guys should actually chase them if you can, both of you. That'd be excellent. And, uh, yeah, what is this? Just Prodromoy and archers, I believe. Yeah, let's keep on coming. Let's keep on. That is right at the edge of the map there. So, uh, yeah, you guys get there to block them off. And they've got nowhere to go now. Like, where do they go? Like, where do they go? You guys get that way. I bet you they'll find somewhere to go, though. No, nope, looks like they're not. Fantastic. There we go. We'll kill that Prodromoy pretty easily then. Don't think those guys are going to catch them in time. But it doesn't matter. It's just trying to push these, uh, these units back. Uh, come forward. I don't know if these guys are a bit bugged out, but this Thurio 4 is not happy. And then what do we have? Oh, look, the Thurio 4 is just going after the Cav, as usual. <laughs> oh, just makes things a bit more annoying. But okay, that's fine. Uh, they might get a Javi shot off here, actually, which would be a little bit bad for us. But overall, we're fine. You guys keep coming. There we go. Kill all of these boys. No problems. Kill all them. Withdrawing? No. Still not withdrawing, which is kind of insane. You guys get there. You guys get there. Come on. Chase all these guys down quickly. What I'm going to do is bring back you boys. I'm going to send you and you to chase them down. So these four can be the rest of the cab. We don't really need any more. So, should be everything now. I mean, not the most thrilling battle, I've got to say. But the uh, the AI took it. So, they obviously thought they had a chance of winning. Somehow. <laughs> Somehow they thought they could win. Uh, you guys come down. They might even decide to charge the Athamanians. That would be fine, honestly. Let's go kill them. The last... Oh, that's everyone dead. All right. All we've got to do now is kill this 304 Roy cavalry. Looks like they are going for that charge. We'll counter charge. Not going to be great counter charging those boys, but no problem. Yeah, that really did actually batter them quite a bit, but oh well. <laughs> but a glorious victory nonetheless, my friends. Well, there we go. I think Ankisis, that is a good victory. That hopefully means that he's no longer blooded and he has some morale. But uh, I guess we'll find out, guys, <laughs> won't we? Well, I'm going to move here, I think. Unless we can get a ship. Where is the closest ship we have? We don't have many ships, do we? There's <laughs> these guys. This is like a full navy. Let's have a look. We've also got these guys, and we got this unit. But that's the unit of ten. Well, uh, let's come all the way around to there, and we don't have much movement points, so what we're going to do with Ankesis, we're just going to stand there and hope that these guys stand there so we can go across there. Because although we are allies and we don't get blocked by them, them doing that is incredibly annoying still. <laughs> Why they're here, I have no idea. They're just wandering around. Um, but yeah, great. We love to see that, don't we? Right, guys. We're going to do one more battle. And I think we'll keep the theme of fighting the Antigonids. So let's go after Captain Antiochus down here. I think that is the best option for us. Can probably do these episode those battles next episode. And we'll also do that battle against the Adrissians too. So yeah, plenty left to do at this turn. So yeah, Leonatos. What do they have? Not much. Should be a pretty easy battle, but again, we'll find out. And I did expect them to stay on the, the highest point of the battle map. So that is why we have set up over here, guys. <laughs> and as you can see, the AI has obliged us, hasn't it? Very nice. Very nice. That's what we like to see. Right, we're going to have to set up slightly further back. 
than what we wanted, but that's fine. If they go for the charge, we're going to have to be ready to put the phalanx down ASAP. What do we have? Hoplites? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's no problem. Should be able to deal with those boys pretty quickly. Um, there we go. Let's get the phalanx down, boys. And we're going to march forward as usual. There we go. You guys, maybe just tip forward a little bit. Tiptoe, tip, tip forward, tiptoe forward a little bit. Can't really get our cavalry engaged until we've engaged their lines to try and hold them. But looking at them, I don't know what they're doing. They're really, they didn't expect us to, uh, to be near them, did they? Well, General, you can come across. You're quite far away, but you can see if you can have an impact on this battle. I very much doubt it, but you can try. All right, keep going, guys. These guys have fired. Let's see if we can fire again. That might bring them into fighting. Let's speed this up. Don't need to just march forward forever. There we go. There we go. Now we're getting set up properly. Very nice. Right, you guys turn there. And you're going to protect the flanks. And then now we can actually start getting involved in the fighting. Let's go. Got our general across here now too as well. That's Thurio 4. It shouldn't be a problem to just run over those guys with the Salians. Not going to lie. You guys get off that mode. Skirmish mode. Right. Straight in there, boys. Straight in there. Should not be an issue to deal with these boys. And looks like they're getting their Prodromoy in the fight. Maybe they've got a skirmish issue again. Don't know. But we should surround these boys and break them, surely. Come on. How are they not broken, bro? How are they not broken? The general is a progemoy with two men. Wow. Impressive. <laughs> right. All right, let's just get some of these fools. Let's try to get around there now. Kill that general, actually. It looks like they're going for the fight. So let's get a, let's get a, this progemoy surrounded. Uh, might as well. I, I should have not have used all the cavalry there. That's a bit dumb, but oh well. Let's get in the fight here, guys. Just use your massive powers to just be a big squeesher. Should be okay. Right now, guys, into the Uzonoi. In fact, there we go. That's their general. Their general of Prodromoi. Two of you. Two of you. General there as well. Hopefully, we catch them all right. Look at this big blob they have, though. What is this? What is the blob? The glorious blob. Not the blob. Not the blob. Kill the blob. Kill the blob. There we go. Should be able to break this Uzonoi pretty quickly. They are all very experienced down here, remember, guys? These units. Now, let's go for the charge. The cheeky old charge. Kill that Uzonoi. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Should be an easy fight for you. They, I don't even think they have spears, Uzonoi. So, this shouldn't be a problem for our cavalry. Surely, this is going to be a good charge. There we go. I say a good charge. I didn't mean just jogging into them, boys. Come on. Kill that Yuzo Knight. What is this? Oh, God. <laughs> uh, yes, the Prodromoy are back, boys. Yay. Kill them all. It does bring me great pleasure to kill Prodromoy. I'm not going to lie. That is the best thing about them is the fact that they die so easily. Um, but there we go. Straight in there, then, boys. Straight in there. Just the AI blob again. The classic AI blob. Where have we seen this one before? There we go. Should be able to break some of these boys. Yeah, there we go. Broke most of them. And the Prodromoy pretty much ran away before their charge was even engaged. Good. And then around here. Yeah. All that's left is the Halka Speeders. So I want everyone here to attack them. And what do we have left? Those guys are withdrawing, but they, I don't think they're going to be able to escape with uh, all the troops. So, uh, yeah, let's get it. Get in through the slaughterhouse, my friends. Let's go. Let's go. Everyone here, though. Kill them. Kill them. Kill them. Right, you guys might as well just take out those Greek hoplites while you're here. And we'll send this guy around. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Perfect, my friends. Perfect. Well, that is another glorious victory for Lord Pyrrhus down here in the south. If ever I do say so myself, what a glorious little run of battles we've had this episode, guys. Let's get back on the campaign map. 
Well, the question is now, what do we do with Pyrrhus' army? It's pretty darn damaged, isn't it? If I have a look at Leprion, though, let's have a look at Leprion. What can actually be trained here? Not a huge amount. We would need that for them to be retrained. But I believe Thermon, we can train pretty much everything that's in this army. And we can get all the way back to Thermon. So let's do that. Um, anyone we can combine? Not many. Uh, you go there. You go there. Hmm. Yeah, not not many. <laughs> we can't retrain the Thessalians, but that's fine. They're doing a great job anyway. Um, so that should be plenty enough spaces for us to retrain that whole army. Obviously, when we've done that, we're going to have to maybe delete some buildings so we can come back to Pella with this army and retrain them. Um, and of course, we've got this battle to do. These guys haven't even got Ram yet, so that's fine. Hopefully, Anchises can get through to Delphoi, and then that'll block them off again. And it's just really looking sad for the Antigonids right now, isn't it? Even I feel a little bit sad for them. Even all the pain that they have brought us. I feel a little bit sad for them. I'm not going to lie, my friends. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but anyway, that's fine. And a glorious little episode. I've really enjoyed this one. We've killed a lot of Antigonids. And we've killed an absolute load of Seleucids. That, like, five army scrap at the start is now down to three. With some damaged units in a couple of them as well. Which, yeah, glorious. That does have elephants, though. Ah! Didn't even realize that. Well, that's fantastic. Yes. <laughs> well, anyway, guys, if you did enjoy, a like and subscribe would be massively appreciated. Thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure, as always. And I will see you all again on the next video.